Hello, welcome to Darlene's Kitchen. I'm going to be making egg bites using a Pampered Chef's brownie pan. Um, I'm going to be using the Pampered Chef tomato knife to cut my tomato. I'm going to use the utility knife to cut up some sausage and the cheese. I'm going to add in there and the green onion. I'm also going to use the potato masher tool uh, to scramble the eggs up. I'm going to use the batter bowl. It has the measurements on the side and it has a spout. So it'll be nice to pour the egg into once I'm ready. So I'm going to crack some eggs here. I'm going to just, I'm cracking five eggs. So we'll put them in the batter bowl here. Then I'm going to use the potato masher to mix it up. I find that this potato masher is great for uh, mashing your potatoes, squish, squish, as well as, as an egg thing, egg mixer, beater there. So there's my eggs. Then I'm going to quickly cut up some marble cheese and some Havarti cheese. Um, you can definitely um, grate it. I just had this cheese left over um, in the fridge from when we had uh, meat and cheese last night. Some green onions and some spinach I'm going to cut up using the utility knife. That should be enough plenty there. I'm going to cut up some meat here. What's great about the utility knife is you can use it to cut up most things. Um, they're very handy to have. Maybe I'll do a cup, maybe a bit more green onion in there. Now, when I first did this, I did mix it all into the egg. Um, but what I have found that is easier to do is put the vegetables and everything into the pan. We don't have to uh, grease it or anything. It is going to just pop out when it's done, which is great. Now I'm going to use the, toma the tomato knife. What's great about it is you can use it to get the uh, stem out. It is serrated, as you can see. So it is nice. It's great to cut it up. It just saws right through the tomato very nicely. Um, we do have other products that you can use to cut up your tomato if you'd like. Um, we have the quick slice that will do your green peppers and your tomatoes and all of that. Today I chose the tomato knife. I'm going to also use garlic and herb spice into it. So I'm going to put that into the egg mixture. Give it a bit of a stir. Then I'm going to mix all of my vegetables up onto the cutting board. And then I'm going to just fill the egg cups with a mixture of the meat, the cheese, um, the tomatoes, green onions. What's great about this recipe is you can put pretty much anything you want in 
clean out your fridge. Maybe if you have taco night and you have leftover cheese, hamburger, um, all sorts. So I'm gonna just look around, even it out, make sure that each of them have a bit, bit of stuff. Maybe I'm gonna add another, some more meat to it. Because these are great um, in the mornings. I take them to work, I throw them into a um, container that I can put in the microwave and I zap them in the microwave at work and that's and these are my morning snack it's great if you are following a keto diet um nothing but vegetables and egg now I'm going to pour some egg into them over it Hopefully I have enough egg for all of them. If not, well then I guess I'm not making a dozen. Or I'm going to be making some small ones. So there you go, there you have it. Egg bites with some Havari cheese, some marble cheese, some sausage, tomatoes, green onions, spinach in there. And I'm gonna put them in the oven at 375 when it beeps. And in about 15, 20 minutes, they should be ready. And I will post a picture um, when they are done. Uh, thank you for watching, bye for now.